We've not done a video on Zoom Notes in such a long time. Therefore, in this video, we'll be going through scrolling options in Zoom Notes. Yes, scrolling in Zoom Notes requires a dedicated video. Hey guys, it's Ropsy Beck with Paperless X, a channel that is all about digital productivity. If you're new to our channel, hello. Make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications so you know each time we release a new video. And if you're already subscribed, fantastic one, welcome back. Typically, when no scrolling tools are selected, the pages in Zoom Notes are superimposed on this gray canvas. That means you can move them around the screen, which can be annoying if you're trying to scroll through your pages. You may be interested to know that you can actually write on this gray part if that ever became necessary, but it's not today's focus. The easiest way to scroll through your pages in Zoom Notes is using the arrows on the page bar. You, of course, have to turn on the page bar in your settings to have this. And we covered this when we talked about workspaces in the application. Zoom Notes now has started changing its user interface, the one most of us disliked so much. We can now toggle some sections of our settings. And this is certainly a step in the right direction. And we just thought we'd mention it in passing. If you want to scroll your pages using your fingers in the application, you must select the pen and zoom tool and turn on restrict zoom out to page. If you don't turn this option on, scrolling with your finger will not work and you'll keep moving it on the canvas. Please refer to our workspace video to learn more on how to add and remove tools on your toolbars in the application. Zoom Notes supports horizontal scrolling and vertical scrolling. You can have paged scrolling in the application to snap pages in the center of the screen if you want to view one page at a time. The application can also maintain your zoom percentage between pages so you don't have to keep zooming in and out of your pages, which is quite helpful and it saves you a lot of time. We've not been able to understand one feature. Start scroll with gesture. No matter what we've tried, we can't seem to see its purpose. And if you know how this feature works, please let us know in the comment section down below. For continuous scrolling, we are going to turn off page scrolling and select the scroll icon. This offers the best scrolling experience you will get in Zoom Notes. It works both for horizontal and vertical scrolling. Zoom Notes is the only application we've seen to support horizontal continuous scrolling. And this is exciting. Your pages have a gap between them, so your handwriting can't overlap between your pages. But you can move the items between them. Zoom Notes recently added 3D page animation. You can turn it on in your settings. With your 3D page animation turned on, you can then decide your page turn, which you can completely remove it. None. You can make it side or center it. From our experience, this feature is still buggy. You can decide how slow or fast your page animation is. At this point, it's safe to say no matter what settings you put, Zoom Notes is going to add whatever 3D animation it likes, independent of your settings. Most of these settings are not sticking, and it's been like this since they introduced the feature. The animation itself looks best when the page flips on the side, that is, from the edge of the page. The center animation looks weird at first, but you get used to it after some time. My favorite animation is the vertical one. In Zoom Notes, page scrolling and page turning are different and independent. Page turning seems to override page scrolling and that is enough headaches for one video. We've modified our motto for Zoom Notes. If you can think it, Zoom Notes does it after a headache. Let us know what other videos you'd like us to cover on this channel. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Thank you, fantastic human, for watching. See you in the next video.